Too fast, my friend. No need to press our luck on a day where right place, right time could make all the difference in the world. Just like life. Oh, this water looks fantastic, Grant. Great color. I'm between the oars once more on a stretch of river I've drifted a thousand times before for one final float with you, the viewer. Grant, I think I can feel one looking at it. For 22 years, I've looked at Oregon like a river, reveled in its channels and smiled at its back eddies and charged across its rapids. I've tried to guide you and show off the place we call home, a place that somehow never seemed twice the same. We paddled broad estuaries, hiked rugged mountain trails, and trekked across sprawling dunes, often to see the wildlife critters most of us rarely see so close. We sure did, sometimes too close. But the privilege to share the rare and spectacular and wild was always mine. Sharing's always been a big part of my outdoors. My boys learned that at an early age. For years, they joined us in every corner of the state, in motorhomes and trailers and tents, often with a rod and a reel. What happened, Kev? I cast it out toward that log. I'm like, oh, mom. I was like, oh, mom, I think it's stuck on that log. <laughs> Like, you got a fish! I think that log had fins, you know that? Some of my favorite sharing was in a classroom when outdoor talk was the weekly thing to do. Who can tell me what these are? Yeah. They get extinct from the fish won't have anything to eat, so they will die. We visited more than 300 classrooms and touched thousands of young lives with a message about endangered species and the things people can do to help. I'm not fishing. Well, there was three poles out. When it came to lending a hand, I could never extend mine far enough to thank the managers, biologists, and especially fish and game officers for the work they do to protect our natural resources. Look what happens when I run it across the decoy's head. Look how those eyes light up. Officers say that's the time when these deer are easy targets. The investigations extended elsewhere, too. From leaking landfills where toxic goo oozed from the ground and the government did little to stop it, to illegal dump sites like McBride Creek, the worst I'd ever seen. But we made a difference, too. Often the awareness led to action and people pitching in. So prized places were made better once again. look at the country here and it gives you one of those memories. Memories are everything. They, uh, they, they count for a lot. You try to build good ones. Bert's right, you know. Good, strong memories can last a lifetime. I hope you found some along the way. I guess there's a reason we keep coming back. It just calls you. The river keeps calling you back. Always has and it always will. If, you, if it gets into your blood, it'll, it'll always call you back. And who knows? Maybe someday. Meanwhile, get out here and make some memories of your own. Hoping you find your own outdoor adventures, I'm Grant McComey, K2 News.